Greetings everybody. This is the FG085 frequency generator kit which I obtained some time ago from SparkFun. It's a little function generator. I'll just show you the features of it. So you can see here that it has a range of 0 to 200 kilohertz at least on the sine wave. Uh, frequency re resolution down to 1 hertz. Amplitude 0 to 10 volts peak to peak and we can offset it with a DC voltage of plus or minus 5 volts. And there's some other specifications here. So today I'm going to build this. I'll show you the build at high speed. Then I'm going to hook it up to an oscilloscope. I'll show you some of the waveforms and I'll give you my um, two cents on what I think about it. Okay, let's get going. This is how the kit comes packaged, so uh, let's just take a look and see what's inside here. It's a power supply, instructions, only one sheet, this looks like it's fairly simple to put together, and also in here we have circuit board. Looks like uh, panels, panel, front panel, rear panel, and looks like uh, LCD display, DNC to alligators, obviously for the uh, measurement port, and big bag of parts. Looks like mostly switches and headers. I don't think I see a rotary encoder. Okay, let's get started and put it together. function generator and I, right now I have it set up for 10 kilohertz sine wave 5 volt amplitude and zero offset and rather than showing you pushing buttons I'm gonna show you what the output looks like on the oscilloscope screen and I'll go through a few of the uh, different possibilities not everything so first I'm going to adjust the amplitude of the signal so you can see the sine wave signal glowing going up in amplitude here and um, it appears that I can adjust it between 0 and 10 volts so this is around 8.5 volts something like that and I'll show you some of the waveforms that it can do so here's a square wave I'll just adjust the time period there Here's a triangular wave. Here's a ramp in one direction, ramp in another direction, and a stair-step waveform. So these are a stair-step waveform in another direction. 
So these are all different outputs that you can get from this this uh, generator, and this is the user mode, which I don't have set for anything. Back to the sine wave here. We can also do um, an offset. So I'll adjust the DC offset, and you'll see it moving around. Well, it's giving me some trouble here. There we go. And there's the there's the DC offset. So this is with an offset of uh, two volts DC, and I'll go back to zero volts offset. There we go. And uh, it also has a sweep mode, so I'll put it into sweep mode. Here we go. Uh, bear with me for a second here. There we go. And you can see it sweeping through the frequencies. And there it goes again. So these are a couple of things that it can do. It has a it has a uh, servo mode, so I'll put it into servo mode next. So here we go with servo mode. And I'll just address the frequency so that you can see the There it is. And you'll see it. I'll move the position. And you'll see the, uh, the width of the pulse changing as I adjust it. So this would be the PWM signal that you would send to a to a uh, servo. So that's a few of the functionalities that this thing can do. Would I buy this again? I'm not so sure. Uh, some, of the, some of the downsides of it are it was 60 f about $65 US. Um, it was a little bit difficult to put together. The switches are kind of fiddly. Fortunately, all of the surface mount devices are done for you, which is nice. Uh, it looks nice. Um, I like the appearance of it. A uh, couple of the switches kind of a bit sticky. Maybe I didn't get them right quite into into place. And the user interface is a little bit kludgy till you get used to it. I'm sort of used to it now, so it's not so bad. But um, yeah, uh, I, mixed reviews. Would I buy it again? Eh, maybe. That's all I can say. Anyway, that's it for now. Uh, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.